Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Uh, today, we are going to do a soft stop shot. Now, let me just preface this by talking about a couple things here. Maybe later when I'm doing my drill, I may be saying um, draw, and I want to clarify that uh, before we start. So I had a fascinating conversation um, yesterday with my instructor, Robin Dreyer. And we were talking about how people use all these different terminologies. And so I want to make sure that as you watching this with me, you're following along with the terminology that Rob and I agree on, right? Which is if you draw the ball, that means you're putting enough spin to move that ball backwards. That's as simple as it is, right? And also if you um, put any kind of spin to make the ball go forward after contact, that's kind of like follow. And a stop shot is a stop shot, which means when you hit the ball, it's going to stop. Now there's variations of these and that's what's fascinating about our sport, right? Like when you talk about billiards, a stop shot can mean you could hit it center and with more force and it'll stop the ball. You can hit it below center, which I spent years and years trying to develop where a little bit below center, all across up and down the table, you know, you vary the, the stroke speed and it'll stop for you. Just one hit, a little bit bottom below center. Today, I want to talk about a stop shot. Now with a stop, I mean a slow stop shot, right? So what I mean by slow stop shot is how softly can I hit this cue ball to stop the ball? And that's going to require me to hit it extremely low on the cue ball like I would on a draw shot, but I'm hitting it with a speed at which it will stop once I hit the ball. Now, why am I doing this, right? Like, you know, if you're talking about where you want to land with a cue ball, there's so many different ways of doing that. But why am I developing a soft stop shot? Because what I'm practicing right here has nothing to do with the cue ball stopping. It has everything to do with me developing my stroke. If you saw me uh, in the previous video, I'm really having a tough time drawing the ball because of a mental block, right? Like I would tense up my shoulders, tense up my arms, um, not following through, you know, my bridge hand being too long. Um, there's all of these myriad things that happen that mentally blocks me from having a smooth draw shot. So Robin came up with this uh, drill here. I can't take credit for it. I didn't develop the, the drill at all, but Robin developed this drill. And what it does is, it fine tunes my stroke, right? Because I have to hit it extremely low and then I have to get comfortable hitting it extremely low, which develops my draw shot. And secondly, I have to hit this very smooth. If I'm not following through, if my stroke is choppy, it is not gonna stop for me and it's not gonna help me, you know, get to the um, end of the rail where I wanna, wanna go. So. Without further ado, let me show you um, what I'm looking for uh, as a successful hit for this, and then we'll go right into the practice sessions. So the first part of this is the setup, right? In this drill here, we're not looking to pot the, cue, the, the object ball. We're actually looking at this drill for speed um, as a way of giving us feedback because this drill is not about just hitting it. It's about giving you feedback to fine tune your stroke, right? So the cue ball here is on the second diamond of an eight foot table. And then the object ball in this case is on the third diamond. I also did this to help me out because a lot of you guys who commented on this previously made me very aware of it. So as you can see here, you can see here, I really want that six inch follow through. And I know from, you know, my 20 years of playing follow through has been one of those things that I just form a bad habit and it's not consistent. And especially comes out when I'm drawing the ball, my follow through, if you watched the previous video was about two inches um, past the cue ball, right? So the cue ball is about two inches across anyway. If you look at here, see, it's about two inches. If you look over at the cue ball, when I place it over the line, it's about two inches, right? So what I did here was I marked on my table using my program, 
if I come out here, this first line is four inches. So I get four inches of follow through. Now that's the minimum that I wanted. And I, I and when I see this, I'm like, I have to fight for more. I want to be at six inches is right there. And in between that would be five inches of follow through. So this right here gives me instant feedback on my follow through. And every time I look at the end of my shot, I'm like fighting for the six inches. And when I see myself getting four inches of fall through, that's just a cue to me like, hey, you really need to do better with falling through or looking at my backhand, am I holding it at the right place that's causing my uh, follow through to be a little short. The second thing on here is also my bridge. My bridge should only be eight inches from the cue ball. Now, I notoriously in the past um, have a varied um, distance between where my bridge hand is and the cue ball, but more so I have notoriously long bridge um, in between the bridge and that has caused me some issues. And, and so working with Robin, he got me to my optimal bridge distance, right? And so this is where I want to stay most of the time. So that's why I, I have that there. Now, again, this is about one foot difference. And what the feedback I'm trying to do is hit this ball to where it goes to the rail and either stops at five or in between here. Anything from here to the rail is good. If I hit land on, on rail shots, that's an exceptional hit, right? Because I, I hit it with such a slow speed right slow speed that i could stop the ball and have this ball hit and land on this uh, on on the rail i only do that maybe once every 30 shots if that right and i'm not even highly successful at even keeping this between the four and the five uh, while i'm stopping the ball but each one of these shots give me feedback to fine tune and to work on my stroke and get it smoother and smoother so that is the setup to the shot. Now, keys to the shot, very, very important. As I said, the key here or the result here is not for me to stop the ball. I can stop the ball in many different ways. The key here for me will be, did I have a good bridge distance and a good bridge hand to where it's, it's, it's flat and low? Did I follow through? That's you know, I'm developing my stroke. So these things are I'm looking for. Did I follow through? Did I have a smooth enough stroke to stop the ball and slowly roll this ball to the rail up to, you know, between the four and five. Now, those are the keys to, you know, this, this drill for me. Feedback to tell me how well I'm doing is it does it stop that's feedback did i follow through to six inch that's feedback where did this ball land when it hit the rail that's feedback to tell me how fast i'm stroking through the ball and then there's one last feedback if i hit it extremely low right extremely low there is a very specific sound that my cue stick makes and i'm always fighting for that again that happens maybe once every 30 shots maybe Right, so I'm trying to increase the frequency in which I can do this. So I'm really training my ball. It's okay to hit it lower because if I don't hear that sound, I'm like, huh, I still have room to hit this cue ball lower and lower. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. I hope this helps some of you guys develop your stroke because this drill here is about to develop my, my stroke, not only for my draw shot, but also for all of my other shots. I hope you enjoy. Guys, first shot. Gotta make sure that I chalk my cue stick. Okay. Go through my pre-shot routine, making sure that I'm holding it further, further back enough. I have a point that I'm looking at here. Here we go. First shot. Down. Line up. Line it up. Aim low. That's where I want to hit on the cue ball. Eyes on target. Smooth that. 
huh, I did not follow through well enough. So that's about five inches. I really want to be at six inches. Other thing is this ball didn't stay within between the four and five in the middle. Um, so I hit that too hard. And the other thing too, guys, if you look at this, there's space here. That means I actually drew the ball and didn't stop the ball. So that one is a failure. So one failure. Let's go to my next shot. What did I learn? Okay. Got to follow through, be a little smoother and hit a little lower. Okay, good. I got six inches that time. I think I, I also drew that ball a little bit too much, too much power here. You can see it went past the four. So I even hit it, I stroked it even faster that time. And then you can see there's space between here. So not a good shot here. However, there was an improvement. I did get my six inches that I wanted out of here. Now my mind needs to focus and hit that smoother, softer, right? Smoother, softer, more fluid. Let me go third shot. Okay, that was a little bit more fluid. Um, did not get to the six inch mark where I wanted it, but you see it got closer to the five. So that was a success on the speed, right speed. And if you look at this ball, still have a little gap here. That means that I am still drawing this ball and not stopping it. So, you know, I could take a little bit more fluid stroke so that's a no for me. A little bit more fluid stroke. I can even hit it with a little bit less speed and I need to follow through all six inches. So those are things that I wanna make sure I do for this round here. Okay, focus. Okay. Cue ball. Eyes on target. Smooth back. Oh, that one felt good, guys. I got the six inches there. Speed wise, I really got it, you know, below the five, which is good. See about draw wise. Now, in this case here, I didn't give it enough draw. So you can see like I'm touching the ball and it's not on its spot. I nudge it a little bit and you can see that man, I need to draw it a little bit more. So I made, my mind made the correction. Now I need to make another correction. Everything's going really well. Fall through is good. Hitting the ball was good with speed. I just need a little bit more draw out of that shot. So just a little bit more speed on that. Not much, you guys saw it was like a credit card length. Here we go, let's do it again. All right, so almost the six inches, which is good. Speed still good. It hadn't hit the five yet. Came up here. Let's see where this ball lands. And that was my first make of the day, guys. Re really awesome. So four misses, well, I shouldn't say misses, but four unsuccessful and one good. But one thing I will say is when I'm looking at this alignment here, I hit this ball and I didn't hit it full in the face. I kind of cut it just slightly. So that's something about my aim. So I'll just make sure that I'm aiming a little bit better, but that was a good shot. Here we go. Aim. Aim. Yep.
Wow, oh, terrible shot. I, uh, that was five inches of follow through instead of my six that I've been working on. The ball did hold around five, so my speed of going through the cue ball is pretty good. And I also did stop it. So all in all, you know, you talk about accomplishment of what I said to do with that shot. I'll give myself that um, as a plus. So now I've got two makes, but I need to work on following through. Even though that was a successful hit, I need a fight for six inches of follow through. Oh guys, if you saw what I did there, six inches of fall through, and let me move my mic a little bit so it's not hitting the cute stick every time I'm talking. Um, yeah, good follow through that time, but I hit it way too soft. The ball didn't even hit the rail, but what's more, you guys should see where that cue ball is. It, it rolled forward by half a ball. So see that? So that's, just not hitting it with enough speed. I just need to hit it with a little bit more speed. Um, but the hit and the follow through was good. Good in the sense that I follow through even on a soft shot like that, which I'm, I'm trying to work on right now. There we go. That's the target. Eyes and cue ball. Yeah, that's where I want to hit it. Nice and target. Swings back. Oh, good shot in the sense that I fall through for six inches. I hit that a little firmer, guys. And look, it rolled more than I wanted to, but it was it's still right in between four and five, which I considered okay. And if you look at this, I am almost I, I hit it with not enough. I guess fluidy for the draw shot and it rolled up just slightly for me which tells me I hit this ball a little high on the cue ball even though I wanted to hit it low I hit it slightly higher than where I intended okay and that was a miss I gotta record that I forgot to do that and I had two misses from the last one so here you go six misses two makes which is okay. Every one of these misses, I'm learning something um, that I need to correct, and then I'm correcting in the next shot. So the misses are not a bad thing, guys. Here we go. I'm up. I'm up. Hey, look at where you want to hit on the cue ball. There's a target. Smooth back. Oh my goodness. Good six inches of fall through because I hit it so soft the last time. I hit it a little bit firmer. But look at this, guys. It's almost a three. It's almost a three. And I bet you I drew this ball. There's going to be space. Yes, there is. There's about a finger bit of space in between here. So, yeah. Not a good shot, but I know what I'm doing wrong. I sped through that ball a little bit too fast, so I need to take a little bit off of that. But I'm hitting it well in the sense that I am following through everybody. So, you know, this is good. You know, I'm, I'm training my mind and training my muscles. Well, that felt a little bit better, almost close to six. I did control my speed a little better. It's in between four and five, right in the middle there. That's the upper limits of how fast I wanna hit it. And look at that, stop shot. That's a success. 
I'd like to hit that a little bit more smoother. You know, you know when you stroke it really well because there's a sound that it makes when you're hitting it low and it's closer, it, it won't get to the five spot down there. That's when you know you've hit a really good shot. I, you know, getting to between four and five, I know I can take off some speed here and still hit the same kind of shot. So even with less speed than that, more fluid, right? Oh, I heard that clank. That's the sound I'm looking for. Close to that six inch fall through. So I'm, I'm not gonna cry about that. Didn't get to the five, which is good. And did it stop? It stopped perfectly. So that was a successful hit. I think the last one was a successful hit too. Exciting, exciting times, everybody. That was a really good hit. That's what I'm chasing. Now, that was the first one that I heard the clank so far. And that specific sound is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I heard that clank again. It's close to the six. Oh, wow. It actually rolled to the rail. I thought it was gonna stop before the rail, but look at here, guys. I am so close to that perfect shot. It rolled forward a little bit. That means I did not put enough speed to draw it. So, man, even though that was such a good shot, it's a miss. So that tells me I need to I need to draw that ball or need to hit that ball a little quicker falling through just a tad bit. Now what you guys are not seeing that I'm doing here that I can only describe to you is I used to be very tense in the shoulder, tense in my body, tense in my shot. It, it wasn't fluid because my mind kept on having this um, barrier, but my body was a result of my mind playing you know tricks on me when i'm drawing that i need to hit it so hard to get a draw shot right i'm retraining my mind here but what i'm not i can't convey on the camera is my body is totally relaxed through this shot which is quite an improvement over where i was last week like my body's totally relaxed which is nice never had that feeling in 20 years of hitting a draw shot all right line them up line them up you ball, smooth that. All right, I heard the clank, which is good. I got my six inch, which is good. Below five, which is good. Let's see if it stopped. And I drew it a little bit. I have a little gap here, so I could have hit that with a little less speed. Interesting, some feedback from my mind. Um, because it didn't completely stop, I'm gonna say that's a no, but that was a hell of a try. That, that's one of those that could be on the border. Here we go. All right. Good shot, last shot. Let's try to recreate it with a little bit less. Oh, that's the sound I wanted to hear. I'm on the six inch, but guess what? I hit it with not enough speed. So you can see it didn't travel to the five, but that's a good thing if it stopped. Did it stop? Nope, it rolled for it just a tiny bit. Guys, I think if I hit that just a slightly more speed, that would have been the best shot that I've ever had on this drill. Four, six, eight, ten. Okay, ten misses. 
right? That's 11 misses to four makes. But man, that last one felt really, really good. I think I'm getting better and better at this drill. All right, here we go. Nope, bridge hand's too far. I need to bring that bridge hand up. I jump a little bit and I, I think it's because I slowed down my stroke and you can see when you slow it down too much the ball roll for it I didn't get any spin on it um, got the concentration I wanted I just hit that really too slow and then you heard or saw that ball jump a little bit is because when you hit it slow and not falling through on the ball well I did fall through on the ball but you know you hit it too slow you know, that ball kind of jumped on me because I had, you know, I kind of like double hit that one. That was the worst shot I've had so far. Here we go. Mm. Again, good follow through. In my mind, I need to hit that a little harder. I think I still had some residual of hitting it soft on the last shot. Um, and I got enamored. I like, oh man, I could hit it so much softer, more smoother in my mind now. Is that where it should be? I need to hit this a lot more speed. Not a lot more, but more speed than that to get it down the rail and to stop the ball. Here we go. Oh, that sounded good. That's the sound I wanted to hear. I got almost six inches there. Not quite six inches. It went down, didn't hit the rail yet. And again, I replicated, if I can just hit a little bit more speed, that would have been the best shot. I got back to where I was like two, three shots ago. Okay, guys, that's one view. Let me pause the video and reset it up so you could see what it looks like from behind the ball so you can see how low I'm hitting it. Give me a second as I readjust the camera. Okay, I wanted to reposition this uh, now that, you know, I've had like, 10, 14, 18 shots on this. I want to do another 10, 15 shots so that you guys can see how low I'm hitting on this. Um, hope this helps you guys have a different view. Down. on the cue ball. Oh, that was the right sound of hitting the ball. You can see it almost made it to the rail, but it didn't. And again, checking. I could, I'm almost there, guys. I If I speed up a little bit, I would have stopped it. I didn't stop it. It rolled forward. So I am going to call that as a unsuccessful hit, but I'm getting the gist. That's just a little bit more speed on my stroke. And that would have been a perfect shot right there. And I loved how it sounded because I hit it low enough. Here we go. Let's do this again. Aim. Pause and aim. Burn it in my head. Check the cube ball and the in the right place. Eyes on target, smooth back. Oh, that sounded right too. That's the sound I'm trying to replicate everybody. 
Oh, I hit it too fast. It's almost to the four spot um, that you saw before, but I did stop it perfectly. But a little too fast on the stroke. You know, I was telling my mind to speed up the stroke and it sure did that. So that's an unsuccessful hit for me just because the ball rolled a little further than I would have liked. You know, I'm trying to get the smoothest stroke um, and the, the, the slowest speed to make sure that I'm developing the right stroke for this draw shot. Now, the last two shots, I didn't look at where my cue ball, the cue stick landed to make sure that I'm falling through. So I'm going to pay particular attention to this moving forward. Aim, aim. Yep, eyes on target, smooth back. Oh, too fast. And that was also a bad follow through all the way around, guys. So I was talking on here, I didn't focus, and that was just a totally bad shot, no matter how you looked at it. Um, okay, let's do this again. And this time, let me not talk and focus in on this. I think I hit it also higher there too. All right, let's focus here. Mm, still too hard, way too hard. And on top of that, I only got five inches of fall through. Okay. Wow. The last two shots were a struggle after I've been doing it so well. One of the things that you keep on trying to improve upon, right? It's, it's a battle every time. Mm really focus in on here. A little bit better, five inches um, of fall through. I need to fight for another inch. It's below the five, so that's good. That was a good hit right there. And actually the cue ball stopped. So I consider that a successful hit. Just need to follow through a little longer. I'm trying to fight for that six inches of follow through and not the five inches of follow through. It did sound good too. Uh, I'll rewatch this video later to see if I hit it um, at the bottom most that I can hit it. But it did sound right, so hopefully you guys are seeing this as well. Hmm. Five inches of fall through again. And the ball roll forward, so this is telling me that I am not hitting this stroke fast enough or I'm not stroking through the ball fast enough. And so that's why that ball kind of moved forward. Okay. I think the biggest thing for me right now is trying to get this follow through that smooth to six inches. Yeah, got my six inches, but I hit it way too hard. I passed that four mark there. I also drew it a little bit more. There is space in between here. So did get my fall through at six inches, which I wanted to kind of focus on a little bit more. This is kind of like playing drums, guys. There's so many of these variables that you're trying to control but just gotta kind of 
kind of fight to get that. Again, trying to get the six inches and then a little bit less speed and it should be perfect. Oh, that sounded right. That got six inches. I'm barely past the five. Really happy with that shot. Let's see if, yep, that's a stop shot. Now there is a slight sliver in between these two balls. So I could have hit that with less speed. Something to, you know, trying to drive that perfection of getting, you know, the better stroke through this ball. But all in all, I said that was a very good hit for, for me. Um, one of the better hits in the last five that you've been seeing. Let's try to replicate that. Down. And you see me fidgeting here. That's because I'm trying to make sure that I'm aiming right. And that's okay. Aim. Yeah. Aim. All right, I'm at six, but man, I hit that way too hard. Now, you know, in all fairness, when you think about this, it really isn't a, a hard hit per se, but for this shot, it definitely is hard, especially as you're trying to, you know, improve the smoothness of your stroke. Um, there's a, there's almost about a half an inch gap in between these balls. That means I hit it with, um, a faster speed to where it actually drew this ball instead of stopping it. Just a little less speed, but I did get my six inches. So I'm, I'm happy about, you know, the consistency of the follow through so far. Hmm. I told myself I wanted to be slower and I hit that so slow that I put no draw on it or very slight draw on it and the ball moved a whole ball forward, right? Just not enough speed there. That's another miss. All right, let's try this again. Again, I, I didn't get my six inches. Um, I got five. While it sounded okay, I didn't draw it enough. And I can see like, yeah, I didn't stop that at all. The ball moved forward. So when the ball moved forwards like that, I know I didn't draw it enough. I didn't put enough speed on my stroke to make that happen. And I need to work on delivering the follow through to where it's fluid and six inches. constant battle, right guys? But every one of these are giving me feedback on how I need to train my brain to see this. Closer to that six. That's good. I'm close to this five spot. And actually, it's very close to the stop shot. There is a gap between these balls. So, you know, I did slightly draw that instead of stopping the ball. So consider that a not successful hit, but I'm getting there, getting closer. This is, that's one step closer than I was before. So this is good.
Oh, that sounded really well. That's at six inches. It hit right at the five. That's good. And it perfectly stopped this ball. Like when I put it there, there's no space in between. Yes, one more successful hit. By the way, guys, I'm looking down here and that is the seventh hit so far that I've had a successful hit versus 22 non-successful hits. But hey, I am happy as happy can be. Happy like a clam. Every one of these shots, even the miss, is a learning feel like I'm growing every every shot okay I heard that clink that was a good hit it was a soft hit but not enough speed that's the only thing bad about that shot I even got six inches um, of follow-through I just didn't hit it fast enough. So all in all, I would say good technique, good fundamentals, everything, but just, you know, speed wise, I just needed to stroke that ball just a little bit faster. And if you guys have been watching my um, drills on, on table speed, you know that, you know, those are things that you can control by the speed of your stroke. Oh, I hit that way too hard. I knew it the second I let go, but it is at six. Huh, interesting. I felt like I hit it too hard and it's still just slightly past the five. And it's touching, no space in between, so I stopped it. I mean, the results were there, but I don't know why my mind felt like that was a little bit fast. I guess it feels like I could have hit it a little lower and with a little less speed. Hmm, something to ponder, right? Because I know what it feels like when it hits perfectly. There's a clanking sound. You know, I, there's a speed that, you know, I feel that I'm hitting. Mm, that was a five um, inches. I'm not happy about that. I hit it a little harder than I wanted to. It's slightly, uh, you know, further than I'd like to be on this line. And it moved forward some. So that stroke right there was just not a good stroke all around. Um, it's minute, but all these things that I'm looking at is giving me feedback on what I'm doing right, wrong, where I need to adjust, where I need to fight a little bit more. That was just a, since I was doing a couple of them that were so good, that, that one just was wrong at so many levels. That's six. Wow, that ball landed where I needed to go. Um, slightly forward, see I can push this ball back. That means I did not hit it with the right speed. But other than the speed, everything else was good on that shot. So way to recover off that last shot there. You know, you'll have those duds, right? Like who's perfect? So sometimes I see people on YouTube and every one of the shots they make every single shots they make. They never make a mistake. And you now over here, I'm I'm not even at 50% on the shot. I'm so far from it. I think I'm like, yeah, nine shots. So 18% successful. That's almost four inches, a little bit past four. 
I didn't hit it that hard. It's not past um, the four ball mark like you guys are seeing me. And it did stop. No, I slightly drew that. So, man, having a good last shot and then this shot here, you know, I got to fight for, for paying attention and doing that a little bit, a little bit better, right? A little bit better. Oh, I heard that clinking sound. That was a good sound. I almost got six. It's very close to six, so I'm not too critical of that follow through. It's right at that five mark and it's a perfect stop. Finally, I got a good one in. Woohoo! That was exciting. I, I did enjoy doing that. Now I got to memorize all of that so that I can replicate it. Oh, another solid hearing voice. I think I hit it a little bit harder than I wanted to on that one was the only thing again if everything is good except the speed that wasn't bad slight credit card that you can slice through here no that just tells me i can hit it a little softer which i told you anyway after hitting that shot um i'm gonna consider that as not successful because i want it in between the four and five at the at the most right anything below that um and closer to that reel is good you know, I know I could hit that softer. Hmm. That sounded right. That means I hit it low enough, but I hit it too soft and because I knew I hit it too soft, I also didn't follow through on that. Um, just a bad shot right there. I need to do a better job of staying down and falling through even when I know I'm hitting it too soft. Okay, another two shots guys, and I'm gonna switch this view to a front view so that you can see, and then I'll be done with my 50 shots. Burn it in my head. Look at the cue ball. Cue ball where I want to hit it. Smooth that. Ball two, that's six inches. Good. Felt like that was a good speed. Yes, it bounced off the rail, got to a five. That's good. Happy with that. And then I put it here and it's not touching. I'll consider that success, but still there is you know, maybe an eighth of an inch between these two balls or a sixteenth of an inch. So, you know, that tells me I still could have hit this ball softer and it would have stopped, right? Like I drew that ball a little bit to where it had distance between them. So that just tells me I can even hit, hit that sweeter, hit that a little, little slower speed and still and got a little bit better results. So there is room for improvement on that last shot right there. Oh, that sounded right. Six inches, good. That ball went a little bit past the five and this ball touches so it did stop it's not as pure as i could hit that because i know if i hit it really pure i should be below the five so i know there's like room for improvement here um it just tells me on that shot what what that tells me is 
because it stopped, I hit it, you know, a little higher. I could actually hit this ball, this cue ball, a little lower for the draw so that I can reduce the amount of speed I've put through it. So that's where that room, you know, that feedback for that last shot is, is I can even hit lower than I hit that, that last shot. Mm, five. I fought for it, but you know what? I bet you I didn't even hit as low as I was aiming for. Um, it is between the four and five. It slightly rolled forward. By all accounts, this could be a successful hit. Um, and I'm dialing in pretty good, guys. But I really want a better shot than that. So I'm going to consider that an unsuccessful hit there. Last one before I move to the front view, guys. All right, here we go. Really want to hit this lower. Yeah, I heard the clank. Man, five inches um, of follow through. Not happy with that. And then the ball moved forward as well. So I didn't hit it with the right speed for that shot. All right, moving on to the front view. All right, let me give you a front view of this now. in my head looking at the cue ball make sure I'm hitting it where I want to hit it as some target so back mm. I got five inches of follow through and I hit it too slow so you know when I'm hitting at that speed ball moves forward just need to do a better job you know you just lose your concentration for just a bit and that happens, right? All right, let me focus here. Hmm, five inches. Hit it a little faster. It rolled where I wanted it to roll, which is in between here. It drew slightly. I mean, there's like that again, one sixteenth of an inch. So I could have even hit that um, a little softer. Um, but really, I, I, I want to fight for that follow through. That was five inches of follow through. You know, I've gotten six before, so, you know, I'm going to work on that this, this time around for this next shot here. Making sure I'm holding it back far enough. It's coming right through that ball. Mm, I heard that. That was a good one. Six inches, yes, but not enough speed, guys. So, in all, I would call that with technique where I wanted to hit on the ball, my pre stroke routine, everything was good. The only thing that wasn't good was speed. So, now only kind of one variable that I wanted my mind to kind of hone in there, which is just put a little bit more speed to that stroke and it should be good. All right, here we go.
Hmm. Hit that six. But again, speed, too soft. Ended up rolling the ball forward, didn't even go down the rail. Just a little bit more speed. Oh, horrible. Four inches. I hit it with a little less speed. And now the ball moved forward on me. You can see it moved forward on me. Just really sucky. All right. But I do know what I need to fix, right? What I need to fix is I need to follow through on that ball and just a little bit more speed. So now focus on that follow through, a little bit more speed. I'm hitting it at the right place that I want to hit it. Six inches, perfect. It's going down, it didn't hit the rail. My ball moved forward. So again, the only thing I need to do a little bit better here is just getting down that speed. But everything else was good. I kind of fixed that I was hitting that, you know, four, four inches of follow through. So it's okay. At least I know what I'm doing wrong and, and I'm correcting it, which is, you know, every one of these shots are valuable in that. All right, six inches. I heard that go well. Um, it went a little bit further than I'd like, but that's okay. And there's no space between the two balls. Okay. Which tells me on that shot there, while it gave me the results I wanted, the reason why it traveled a little further is because I actually could take a little bit less off speed and hit it a little lower. And I also didn't hear that pitch of when I'm hitting it low. I mean, that's really the elusive one. I really want to hit it low to where I hear that every time I shoot. I get it once every 20 shots. Yeah, see, I heard it that time. I got six inches, but again, speed. So, hey, I got the clink I wanted to hear. I just need to hit that a little bit faster. I know I'm telling my brain to hit it faster, but your brain is a smart thing. You know, it, it, it's trying to gauge what you're trying to do and it's trying to, you know, make you happy. But sometimes it, it makes your shot slower than what you intended it to be. It's okay imprinting what I want now. All right, that's the clink I wanted to hear. I'm at six inches of fall through, good. See, it went to the rail and didn't even get to the five. That's good. And, whoo, perfect. That's what I want. Okay, I got to memorize that because that that shot that you just saw there, that is what I really, really want to happen every time I shoot this shot. How many times did it happen in these 50 shots? I'd say about twice if I remember correctly, but I got to memorize that feeling, memorize that hit, memorize that sound. And I want my brain to zone in on that so that I can replicate it more often than not. It's 
six inches, hit it way too hard. Yeah, way too hard. You can see I was like over here most of the time and then it's over here for between the two and three now. And if I put it here, yep. Look, there's almost like a quarter of an inch between these balls. I, I hit that so fast that, you know, it, it drew the ball too, you know, and, but I hit it low enough and it didn't give me that sound I was looking for. That's it guys. That's my 50 shots. So now let's tally them up. This is the side that I didn't get it right. And this is the side of how many times I actually was successful. So 10, 20, 30, 2, 4, 36 shots that I was not successful. 10, 12, 14 shots that I was successful. So I'm going to go back over here. Today is Wednesday. I know I practiced yesterday. I guess I didn't put it down, but um, draw, stop shot, one inch, one feet um, across the difference between them. And then I got 14 out of 50, which equals to 28%. Now, I wanted to show you guys this because, hey, I try to track my progress every day. And if you look over here, you know, I was doing that uh, stop draw shot um, as well. And you could see, like, I was at 38%. Um, and then some of my speed drills here uh, on Saturday, I also did this uh, stop draw at one feet and I got 28%. And then I did another different type of draw shot and I'm at 58%. So you're seeing like, this is, this is not something that is kind of easy to do, right? Like if you really want something, you've got to, you know, put a lot of effort into developing your game. And after two, three weeks, I'm still struggling with it. So hopefully my struggles will make uh, your struggle struggles a little bit easier. I know it's improving every day and hopefully I can show you what it looks like 